Back on another edition of the SVG Sports Tech On Demand blog. Have the pleasure now to be joined by a special friend of SVG, Kevin Hanneman, president of KMH Audio Video Integration. Kevin, how are you doing, sir? Where are you based Good. out of right now? How are the rest of the KMH family and uh, how's everything going? Yeah, thanks, Christian. Uh, we're doing good. We, um, we, uh, we're doing fine. And um, our, our main office is out in Holbrook. You know, everyone's uh, basically working from home remotely, which is something we always had the ability to do. Um, so we're doing good. Um, we're based, our main office is in, in Holbrook, Long Island. We have a second office in uh, Brooklyn. Um, so we're, we're doing good. We're, we're good. Thanks for asking. Of course. Good to hear. So uh, for those who may not be familiar who KMH is, can you give a little bit of a primer of what your company does for the sports video industry? Sure. So we, uh, we are a consultant and a systems integrator. So what that means is that we're uh, working with our customers to develop um, project needs and requirements, working with architects, MEP, engineers, and uh, acousticians, and laying the groundwork for what the project requirements are, uh, and working very closely with the sports families to, to uh, uh, determine what their needs are. Um, most times in that role, we end up overseeing a, another company that gets hired to actually build it out. Um, we've done that for a number of our customers, but uh, we also, from time to time, will end up actually building it out ourselves. And uh, in some cases, we we a lot of our business is design build. We'll actually take the we'll do the same process and then turn it into an actual project and go and go and build it and test it and train people. So okay. that's what we do. Terrific. All right. So one of the main topics going on in any system integration project or control room systems is IP, especially now since we're kind of in the current situation that we are. What things are you seeing with IP? What projects are you using IP with? Uh, what's the latest with IP and, and KMH? So, you know, it's, it's, it's an interesting question. Uh, we've, um, you know, we've seen for a number of years now that there's a lot of products and capabilities using uh, IP workflow and more specifically, let's say the internet, if you will. Uh, one of the things that we've seen in the last year is a improvement on the uh, protocols that, are, that you can use now with these products to take remote, remote sources in, to switch them, turn them around, either you convert back to, uh, to baseband video and then, and then encapsulate on the way back out to make distribution. But um, with the current situation with the coronavirus, I mean, what, what, would have been, what was considered sort of a nice to have, if you will, or hey, that's an option to be able to do production, it, you know, quickly became a requirement. And um, a couple of our customers actually leaned on us pretty heavily to say, we, we, we want to keep going here. We need to keep going. We've got to stay on the digital distribution um, for our fans. So what can we do? So we helped a couple of customers actually get ready for the, the NFL draft. And, and uh, by using, we'll call it IP, but really it's products that were out there, software that was out there that uh, you know, you've, we've heard the term Remy for a number of years now, right? So it's, it's the same thing really, but uh, all of our customers are, we had another customer that uh, was able to, because their building was shut down, but we used a uh, bonded cellular platform to be able to send them out and do remote uh, news gathering and turn that back around uh, uh, out to their CDN. So that's, that's probably the biggest thing I've seen in the last year is that it's really sort of settled down and you can do uh, a, a decent production, um, whether you're integrating those feeds with your baseband workflow back in your control room or whether you're just taking hits from the field uh, and turning them around back out to your CDN. That's, that's, a, that's something that I think will, people will now say, you know what, it's, it's become more of a, a standard for us to do that kind of workflow than a nice to have. So sure. I think that that's a that's a big thing, and it's not it's not an unusual. I mean, you know, a lot of people are probably seeing that right now, but definitely from our perspective, that's a that's a big uh, advantage that people can take can use now to uh, to augment or to you know replace what they were doing in their control room. They're able to do some switching remotely from a, a desktop, basically. So okay, so while IP is kind of a big topic going on, and it's more of a priority, especially in this ever changing world. What other trends are you currently seeing in the industry that may become more prevalent or pop up as we go along? Well, I, I think, you know, uh, 
it, everybody's sort of looking for more content, more camera angles, more, uh, you know, uh, more video to turn around back for replays and, and to, and to use that same content um, into, you know, another, another uh, application for social media or something. I mean, more content. I mean, that's, that hasn't changed. I mean, that's been happening for years, but I think what's, what's we're seeing is that, you know, what, what does it mean to add cameras into a stadium, let's say, or, or any facility? Well, you need connectivity, right? You need to be able to connect those cameras. So if you already have the network in, uh, infrastructure in place, then you can pretty much, you know, roll forward, put up a camera that you know, has, is a decent quality and, uh, and use that um, um, as part of your production. I think one of the things that's, that's sort of changed over the last few years is that it's it's okay to have a little bit of a little bit of latency it's as long as it's usable it works it's okay and it's immediate and it's a it's a it's a useful uh, uh, contribution to the production so I think that you know the big thing is is that people want more more choices in a replay control room they want more and they want to be able to use those those that content in different applications you know the other thing that we see going on is uh, how, you know, okay, so we're capturing this content, let's say in a stadium, and then how do we repurpose that as part of our post-production workflow? It can during the week be used for other, other, you know, other applications. And, you know, so that's, when we say IP, there's the IP where you're streaming video, and then there's the IP of IP workflow where, uh, how do you access that content? How do you manage it? How do you get it to the people that you want to get it to in your organization so you can turn it around and uh, and repurpose it, put it out, publish it? You know, so those are the big things we're seeing. But um, and it's and it's an ongoing thing. This is not, it's not going to go away. It's a it's there's more and more and more of it. And uh, you know, on the back end, um, there's still a lot of. Uh, of consideration about what if you're rebuilding, if you're if you if you have the opportunity to sort of refresh or rebuild, do you do it? Do you do an IP core or do you do a baseband core and treat the edges with IP? That's an interesting topic. There's a number of of stadiums that have uh, decided to go IP. Um, our customers, for the most part, have said, "Well, we want to be able to do that, but." you know, today we're baseband. So we need to be able to do a hybrid approach. So that's, that's still in the mix. I don't think uh, there are some facilities that are saying, Nope, we're going all in, we're going all IP. Um, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it depends. That's, it depends upon budget depends upon, you know, the, the abilities with in house basically to kind of manage this new network that's going to now be uh, you know, you know, available and, and maintained and all that. So um, but there's no doubt that it's, it's, if you, if you say to some, if somebody says to you, well, we, we, we want to do the shoot in this club or this suite, it's over here. And you know, how can we do it? Well, the only connectivity you have is maybe some fiber, or hopefully some fiber. Um, so rather than if it's easier to just tack it into a network and now you're up and running and you can do that shoot quickly, that's, that's what we see. The technology has gotten to the point where it's, it's making it very easy to do that these days. Instead of trying to look at a baseband solution and pulling other wires, and you know, um, so I think that that's a that's something that we we definitely see going on. Okay, yeah, we're currently experiencing the IP transition that we're currently in right now. So we'll see where all these trends kind of end up when the dust settles after coronavirus. But in the meanwhile, Kevin, please stay safe, uh, stay healthy. Wish the best to the rest of the KMH family, and we hope to see you soon in person at one of our events. Sound good? Thanks, Christian. Same to you and everybody at SPG. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate that. So for more interviews like this one with Kevin and to, to learn what other companies are up to in this weird time that we're living in, please stay tuned to the Sports Tech blog and our YouTube channel.